Welcome to Virtualize Everything, where we strive to educate and inform the viewer about technology and technology-related topics around the world of virtualization. Tonight's presentation is going to be building a little bit on one of our most loved videos, that of adding a USB storage drive to the Proxmox server. So one of the great advantages of a USB storage drive is it can be used for backup and easily migrated to another system. Once you have reinstalled Proxmox or moved to a new Proxmox server, how do you get those backup files into your new Proxmox server so that you can begin using them to recreate your files or containers or VMs or whatever? That's what tonight's presentation is going to tell you how to do. It's really very simple. So I have yet to find a way to do this with Proxmox's web interface. Even though there are many ways to deal with storage drives, actually adding one into Proxmox that has data on it, I have yet to figure out how to do. Maybe I'm just missing something. It's happened before. But here's how I do it. I'm going to go ahead and select our server, and then I'm going to open a shell terminal. With the shell terminal, we need to create a mount point. Now, in my testing, I've already created a mount point, but I'm going to show you how we do that. So, to create a mount point, I first need to create a file. To create the file, I'm going to type mkdir, or make directory, and then I'm going to make the directory at mmt, and I'm going to make a folder called backup. Now, this might give me a strange error message, because I already have a folder here, but for you, it wouldn't. So the MNT directory is where Proxmox creates its mounts by default. You can see that right actually here at this screen where the web interface has created a mount directory for a different drive. Coincidence that happened, but there we go. So now if we hit enter, you see my error message. That's because I already have a file there. Exactly what it's telling me. File exists. So. The next step we need to do is know the name of the drive. We can do that in various different ways. The first way we could do that is lsblk and get a printout that looks something like this. Now I know my USB drive is right here and it's called SDE. I can tell that by the size of the drive. It's one of the most easy ways to determine what drive you have in your system or what drive you're looking at for a name. Another way to do that is inside of Proxmox's web interface, once you've selected the server, you can click on disks and it'll give you a very similar readout. Oftentimes it'll give you drive models and serial numbers as well, which helps you more easily identify the drive. So you can see SDE here is a Samsung 860 EVO that I have connected to a USB adapter. So now that we know the name of the drive and the name of the partition that is already created inside of the drive, we can go ahead and type mount slash dev SDE and the partition name, which is one, followed by a space and then dash MNT dash backup and press enter. Now the drive is mounted. So if you were just to run an LS, you could see the actual files that are on the drive. Okay, we can now close out this console and the drive's mounted to the system. But if you notice, it doesn't show up anywhere here on the data center side so we can use it. The next step is gonna to be to go to data center and storage then we're going to click directory and give it a name. Now for directory, we just type in the mount point MNT backup and we select what it's going to be used for. I have various things on this drive, so I'm going to go ahead and check them all. Do what you need for your particular situation. Now when I click add, you'll find the drive shows up over here. And it'll take a few minutes for the system to go through and recognize it. But now that it's recognized it, we can actually scroll through and we can actually see our backup files that we have previously stored 
on this drive from our other Proxmox installation or system. One note, if you're not going to use this drive all the time and you'd like to remove it after you've transferred your backups onto your new Proxmox server, you can do that by again clicking Data Center, selecting Storage, then select the mount and just press Remove. I hope you enjoyed tonight's video presentation on recovering your backups from a previous Proxmox system using a USB drive. Please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to help us in our endeavor to bring content on virtualization to YouTube and beyond. As always, have a good night.